Okay, so moving on with our cards tutorial. So we have the new image, we have the previous value, the new value, and we have the information about bet. And this is almost 100% perfect, but now we have to calculate the result. And it would be rather easy if the cards were from uh, 2 to 10, but you must remember that there's always a king, uh, an ace, a queen, and how do you call this guy? Doesn't matter. You know, the one after 10. Uh, so yeah, we will write a custom function to compare those. And let's do that just now. I'm gonna say this is gonna return our result. And we're gonna compare values based on the previous card value. And it's gonna be, oh, let me just rename that. It's gonna be that current card value. And this is gonna be that. And of course, the bet. So yeah, now we have to create that function. The problem is I don't really want to create it inside of the component. It doesn't handle state. It doesn't interact with our render function. And so I'm gonna say we will need to create something like utils functions here. And it's gonna export default function oh this no no standard arrow function this is gonna take what it's gonna take those parameters here uh, let's format this with prettier okay so now how do we compare this well, it's gonna be a little bit of typing, but we'll define an array here, card values, and we'll just say it's two or three. It's gonna be boring for you. I know that, but we have to do this. Six or seven or eight. And this guy is called Jack. Now I remember. Uh, 10. Whoa. Uh, Jack. Queen. King. Or Ace. A Ace. Okay, let's just format this. Okay, so it has the same. Uh, what do you call them? doesn't matter don't know don't care okay let's create here previews and as you see here I wrote them in an order so now I can just say previous card value index is card values index of previous card value and current card value index is going to be card values index of current card value. Okay, and now let's compare those. First thing first, I want my function to be just a little bit more secure. So if previous card value index equals minus one, minus mean someone passed a string that isn't in that array because if you call index of if i call it with something like this index of 
will return minus one as, a in, as an index, indicating that this value isn't in that array. Or current index will throw an error. Throw new error supplied card value not found in card values array. It should be good for now. Okay, let's compare. Let us think. So, if the bet is up, meaning that the next card should be higher, and the previous card value is actually higher or the same as current card value index will return lose. Okay. If bet is up and previous card value index is bigger than current card value index will return win. Okay. Now, if bet is down and previous card value index is less than current, card value index will return loose. And the last combination here is bet is down and previous card value index is greater than current card value index and this is a win so this is fine i can re-import this i can compare values oh yeah it's it's not named so it won't know so let's just yeah let's just name it this is gonna be compare, compare values, okay, and we will export it right down here. And now, yeah, it's being found, okay. So this is great. And the last thing that we'd like to do here is modify our state and pass the information about result, the card value and the new image. Okay, so let's do just that. Set state and pass the information about the result, information about the card value and this is gonna be current card value and we'll overwrite card image URL with image. And to make use of it, we can say if there is a result, because we don't have one at the very start, we don't need to initiate it actually with new. If you don't initiate a state here, the React will treat it as undefined because, well, actually it's undefined. But I really like to see the, the structure of my state uh, from the very beginning. So I'm going to say it's, it's just new. And OK, h2 and h2. And we're going to say something like you, my dear friend. And the result and this is naturally coming from the state so let's just do result is coming from the state and then we can also unpack this one okay uh, and we crashed it twice Okay, let me see. Current card value is being returned from draw deck. Should return value. But 
does it now? Let me just go to utils and let me just add the booger here. Let's try one more time. Previous card value is undefined. They specified the wrong name. Previous. They made a top type of previous card value. Try this one more time. Why is it though? Um, it's card value. The name is the card value. Okay, 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 okay. This makes sense. We won't need the booger here. Uh, okay. Try this one more time. Yeah. You, my dear friend, object window. I'm going to say something wrong. Uh, let me see this again. Result. Just come from this state. Okay, so. I can use React DevTools to actually find what is the state of a um, card game board. And this is here. Result is window object for some reason. Uh, let me check our utils. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa, okay. That was the bug. Okay, nice, we have this. There's one last thing that we can add. So um, we should inform our user that here we're recalculating the state of our app, fetching the data, comparing the values and so forth and so on. So here I will reset in card image URL to null and here I can say something like this if card image URL doesn't exist so it's null or undefined we can return h1 loading information for our user okay and you can see it pop it nicely here. Uh, does it make sense to do for just a blink here? Well, no, but if we go to um, emulating the slower network connection here, now you can see it making sense. The user on the slower connection could really use that information that our app isn't actually uh, free frozen or didn't crash, but yeah, we're loading your data. And here it is. Whew. That's plenty. Okay, so I believe we'll leave it at that. I'm gonna say this is pretty much finished. Maybe, just maybe I'll show you how to add Redux just for fun. No, just for fancies, uh, how to add Redux to it. But we'll see about that, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.